Hi team, I hope you're all well. Um, I'm very quickly just going to do my February haul. This was not as many books, thank God, as January. Um, I have kind of, I don't know why I'm even lying, I haven't refrained whatsoever. Um, I haven't bought as many actually as I did last month, so I'm doing alright, I'm doing better. Let's hope for March being a better month. But let me go through and show you what I got so far. Well, not so far. This is literally what I'm going to be buying in Feb. And what I've, what I've bought and that's going to be it. So I bought Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. I have read this this month. So I'm very excited about that. Gave it five out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. This is a comic. And I highly recommend you read it. I'm not going to go through about all of the books unless there's something specific I want to tell you about it. But uh, I'll let you know where I have read or have not read the books. Um, I also bought The Poet X by Elizabeth Elizabeth Acevedo. I did read this this month as well. I read this for Blackathon and I really, really enjoyed it actually. This is a poetry collection and it was very, very good. I think I gave it, I can't remember. It was either four or five out of five stars. I did really enjoy it, it was very, very good. Um, I also got One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, Kesey. I haven't read this, but I just absolutely adored this edition. Look at those drawings. I'm very excited about this. They're also on the inside cover as well. Um, I haven't read it. I've heard very, very good things. This is also one of those, you know, with the um, ripped edges. I don't know what you call it. I'm just not professional at this book tubing whatsoever. Um, and there are a couple of illustrations within the book as well. Very excited to get to this actually. I've heard really, really good things. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm going to read the book first and then watch the movie. I also got Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. I'm very, very excited to read this, especially after reading um, Lady Midnight and Lord of the Shadows this month. So this is following Simon Lewis. Um, after he has been human, then a vampire, and now he is a shadow hunter. And I'm very excited about hearing about his story, so um, I'm hoping to get to this at some point. This is a fucking monster, though. This is like 650 pages. It's a pretty big book. Um, following on from that, I also got the Bane Chronicles because I'm just obsessed with Magnus Bane, and I'm very, very excited about hearing about this. Um, so, yeah, this should be exciting. One thing I've noticed in these books, this, it's the same in the Tales of Shadowhunters, that there's every so often there's a couple of illustrations, which is nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a read as well. And following on from that, I also got Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare because I went to go meet Cassandra Clare and Holly Black this month and I picked up my special edition Sprayed Edges book and also got it signed by Cassie and I'm so excited about reading this I need to carry on with this series uh, again I think this has some illustrations in it I'm sure I've just flicked past the picture an illustration <gasps> I have look at that so beautiful uh yeah very excited about getting to this but again a monster of a book this book is absolutely huge and we're looking at where are the page numbers <laughs> If you purposely not put page numbers in it to put you off? Oh, there we go. We're looking at approximately, you're probably pushing like 900 pages, to be fair. Um, it says 888 for the last page that's in there, but then there's like an epilogue thing maybe. So yeah, an epilogue that's not numbered. So probably pushing like 890 pages, 900 pages or so. So very excited about reading that. I cannot wait. I just think this edition is absolutely gorgeous. I just love the shimmer. It's stunning. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to ramble. What I am doing. Um, I also bought Crown of Midnight. I have read this. Yay! Go me. I'm doing all right actually with reading the books that I'm picking up. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I gave this four point five out of five stars. I really, really loved it, and I'm so excited to carry on with this series. I am reading. I started Throne of Glass in January. I've read this one in March. I'm reading one book every month. So hopefully by July, I should have finished the series. I had to think about that then. I couldn't remember if that was month seven or not. <laughs> um, following on from reading Heartstopper, I bought Solitaire by Alice Oseman. 
uh, thinking this actually was a, graph a comic but it's not it's an actual novel which is great either way I'm not bothered I think that her writing is probably going to be pretty cool so I'm excited to give this a read and um, I'm looking forward to it it should be very good I also got Shatter Me by Tahara Maffey this has been in my basket for ages and then um, Amazon just kept telling me that the price kept going down and then it would go back up again and then it would come down and go back up again and then it came right down and I was like sod it I'm gonna buy it I just think this is although eyes freak me out like close up this is really really pretty do you not think it's got a waterfall in it and everything I'm excited to give that a read I've heard very very good things I also got uh, Blood Orange, which again, I read this month. This is a finished copy because I did have a proof copy. I read the proof copy. Um, so I bought a finished copy when it came out. This is by Harriet Tice. If you want to know more about this book, I shall leave a link to my book review down below of this book. I really enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars. I thought it was awesome. Very, very good. Fantastic book. I highly recommend it. I also bought Saga Volume. 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 Saga Volume 1. Um, again, I've read this this month and oh, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Give it five out of five stars. Um, I'm really looking forward to sort of carrying on with this series. I did really, really enjoy it. I thought it was great. And yeah, I want to carry on. It was really, really good. And finally, I have got Look Up by Laura Sims. This has been sent to me by Headline publishing company and uh, Becky Hunter so thanks to Becky and Headline for sending me this uh, for review this does not come out until July so I have a little bit of time to give this a read but this is a fairly short book to be honest it's about 181 pages so this is following a professor whose boyfriend has left her since she can no longer have um well since she can't have a baby he's left her and she's left in this crummy apartment that she's not overly keen on with this crummy job that she's not keen on and the, her partner's cat who she's also not keen on and then there is a, an actress who lives down the road who has a doting husband they have a baby and our professor is essentially stalking said actress i believe so it is kind of following that i think it sounds very very good i'm really excited about it on the back it says i'm grateful they'd never thought to install blinds that's how confident they are no one would dare stand in front of our house and watch us they think and they're probably right except for me so yeah i'm looking forward to that thank you very much again to headline and to becky for sending me that really looking forward to it so that's my february haul which isn't too bad really if you think um but yeah I'm excited because I've read quite a few of these. So I've read one, two, three, four, five out of all of them, which is pretty good because normally I've read like none. So I'm impressed with that. I'm all right with that. I'm happy with it. It's okay. Um, so yeah, that's my February haul. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoy my videos in general and you haven't done already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I shall see you again next time. Bye for now.